everybody, I wanted to take some time today and go through my top 10 advanced drill through tips. And the reason I wanted to focus on this is I think drill through is a really underrated aspect of Power BI, that it's a great way to give your viewers an overview of a topic and then allow them to select the amount of detail they want. And so what I want to show you today, typically what you see in drill through is you see a table and then drill through to a detail page or maybe a map and drill through to a detail page. But I want to show you today the fact that you can drill through on other, other constructs. And so what I've got here is a report um, that I mocked up just on the, the current NBA season. And so we're drilling through, in this case, on images. And so if we look here, it says, you know, select the team. And if we select, you know, let's say the Bulls, then if we watch, it then says it changes the button to drill through to Bulls. We click on that. And it gives us the Eastern Conference standings with the Bulls status highlighted. And now if we go back and select a different team, and let's say in this case, um, you know, we want to select the Mavericks. And we drill through to the Mavericks. Now what it's going to do is it's going to drill through to the Western Conference standings because that's where the Mavericks are. And so I wanted to highlight this whole conditional drill through because I think it's a really useful technique, and you just don't see it talked about that much. So let's let's run through, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to breeze through these these tips quickly, and assume that you know how to you know how to develop a basic drill through structure. So the first thing I want to talk about in a structure like this is where you get these where you get these logo these these images, and that in this case, what I did is I just googled NBA logos. And I got to this page and it had, you know, 30 plus logos that I needed for this, um, for this report. And you could go through and save each of them individually, but this is my tip. Number one is there's a, there's a Chrome extension called simple mass downloader. And you just, you just download that and then activate it from Chrome. And then what you can do is if you click. So if you right click anywhere on this page and then you say add page links to list what it'll do is it'll it'll go through and it'll select all the the possible images on screen and what we have here is png images so we want to just select png and then you can say download now and it'll bulk download all of those images to your download folder and there's more images than just the ones that I need on this page, but you can bulk download them and then just delete the ones you, you don't need. So that's tip number one. Now, once you've got the images downloaded, you need to, you need to host them somewhere. Um, and so what I like is there's a site called image BB and it's a free site. It also has, um, premium pay features, but if you're not using a lot of space, and in this case, it's just a few icons, um, what you can do is you can host those for free on your image BB site. What I've done is I've just uploaded those files that were downloaded from the bulk, the mass downloader and uploaded them to image BB. And now what we want to do is we want to go to embed codes and it'll, it'll default to something called viewer links. And what we want to do is we want to change that to direct links. And you'll see what that does is that changes it to a, a link that uses the, the title of the, the uploaded file. And so in this case, it's got all the team names.png at the end of the URL. And we can use that to link that URL back to the, the team names and include this URL in our, in our main tables. And so we just copy this and then you can pop that into Power Query and link that up with your the rest of your data. So it's image BB and um, direct links are tips numbers two and three. The next thing we want to do is we want to go and find a custom visual called image grid. And this is a free visual. It's, it's really well done. Um, the one thing to know about this is it's not certified because anything that hosts images, anything that uses hosted images, um, is no longer certifiable from, from Microsoft. So, um, 
it used to be you could you could have certified visuals that went to something like ImageBB, pulled those visuals down. That is now a non-certified um, feature. And so what you'd have to do if you wanted to do this in a certified way is to download them using um, the base64 conversion. But that's got some some challenges in and of itself. So I'm going to assume right now that we're going to use the image BB hosting. So you you download this image grid visual, and that's our, our tip number four. Okay, so the next thing is if we go to the report, you'll see I've got these nice buttons here. And so if we select a team, that what you can do instead of spending a lot of time designing you know, these sort of custom buttons. What you can do is go to web buttons. You just Google the, the term web buttons and there's just thousands of templates for really nice, you know, buttons with all sorts of effects, with glass morphism, with, um, you know, 3D, you know, with shading. Um, and you can download any of those and you can use those in your Power BI custom buttons. Okay, so now we've got we've got our images, we've got our images hosted, we've got our button templates downloaded. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create our drill through buttons, and that's our that's our tip number six. And so what we want to do is we just want to go to insert and then buttons and then blank button, and when we insert a blank button. What we'll do is if we go down to action, we're going to set that action on, and then we're going to set that button to drill through. So now it knows that that button is going to be dedicated to our drill through. And what we want to do is there are two states. So if you go into style, there are two states that matter for drill through. The first of which is disabled. So what disabled does is if there's not a selection of a single item, it doesn't let you drill through. And so in this case, what we want to do for disabled is turn on our text and say, select a team. So we want to get to the condition where there's one selected. And then what we also want to do is under, um, under fill, we want to say, turn fill on. And then what we want to do is we want to fill with the black button um, that we downloaded before. So this is from our, our web template. And we want to we want to set that to fit so that it fits the entire size of that button. And then what we want to do is we want to go to the second state, which is default. And default is when there is a selection made. And what we'll see for default is that what we want is in the fill, we then want we want to turn that fill on and we want to have our orange button in that case. And again, we do a fit. And then what we want to do for our text is our text is going to be dynamic. And that is our tip number seven. So we turn, we turn text on. And then instead of, instead of entering text in a, in a button here, what we do is we, we go to the FX for conditional formatting. And what we're going to do then is we're going to create some dynamic text. So for example, if we select the bucks, what you'll see is it'll say, it'll say drill through to bucks. And if we select the Pelicans, it'll say drill through to Pelicans. And so what we want to do is this is quite simple. We just want to harvest the team name using selected value. And then what we want to do is we want to create a, a, a button text, a DAX measure for the button text, which all it does is if we go up here, it just says drill through to and then we concatenate the harvested measure for the team name. And we just want to assign that measure to our conditional formatting. And if we jump in here, what we'll see is that's exactly what we've done. We've done format style field value, and we've assigned the button text to that. So that is our, that is our tip number seven. Tip number eight is um, conditional drill through. And so what you can do is we've got, we've got our page names down here. We've got select, we've got Western, and we've got Eastern. And what we can do here 
is we can have a, a measure that determines which page we're drilling through to. So all we do here is we just basically say, if the selected value of the, the conference is equal to Eastern, then we drill through to the Eastern page. And if it's not equal to Eastern, we drill through to the Western page. And so that's how we control the, um, the conditional drill through. And so all we have to do is then in our, in our buttons, where we say action, we look at destination. And again, we go to conditional formatting, this FX button, and we do field value. And then which field should we base this on? We're basing it on the, the, the drill through measure that we just looked at. So that is our, that is our tip number eight. Um, now, once we drill through, what, what it'll do is based on the way drill through handles filters, it will take that, that team selections in this case where we had Pelicans, or if we have Knicks, we select, we drill through to the Knicks. And what it does is it, it captures through the drill through filter, the team name. And so then what we can do is in the table, we can, we can highlight the Knicks based on, again, conditional formatting. And if we go here to conditional formatting for background, what we've got is we've got two measures, one of which is for the Eastern conference and one for the Western conference. And if we, if we say basically that the selected value of the team is equal to the selected value of the team in this table, which happens to be a disconnected table, so it doesn't get filtered. Then what we do is we change the, the background color to this red. If not, we don't change the background color at all. And we have a, a second measure for the Western conference table that just does the exact same thing. It just matches whether the, the drilled through team is equal to the team in this column. And it changes the color based on that. And we just, we just assign that, that measure to each of the, the columns in our table. And that changes the, the color to that selected conditional format. So that's our tip number nine. And then the last tip is what we want to do is we want to hide our, our tabs, our, our drill through tabs, because what that'll do is that will, when we look at our, when we look at our final published report, that'll give a really nice, a really nice look here. So we've got no, we've got no tabs. We've got nothing other than that, that main selection page. And if we select and then drill through, the only way to get back to the original homepage is just through this back button. So we're not allowing the the user to navigate on their own, except through the navigation path that we want. And that's really important because what this does is it, it allows you to control basically how the filters are used for the drill through, um, and not allow them to jump to pages they shouldn't be on in an order that doesn't match what you need in order to select the team, grab that team through the filter, and then pass that to the drill through page. So that is that is my 10 tips, um, for advanced drill through. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Um, even if this particular image structure is not what you're necessarily looking for, I think that the, the general tips I've talked about today are really applicable to a wide variety of different drill through contexts that you can really use creatively to improve your reports. So I hope you found that helpful. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources 
and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.